subclause 6.1 uh, is called actions to address uh, risks and opportunities. And uh, this uh, subclause 6.1 is actually the lengthiest uh, in the whole uh, standard. So I'll just uh, briefly go through uh, the main requirements. And basically it requires uh, to list all the risks, all the potential bad things that can happen by uh, the usage of your AI systems. Uh, it also requires you to consider the positive things that can happen because ultimately you will need to balance uh, between these two. And then once you list all of these risks, uh, then you actually have to consider how big they are uh, and decide uh, basically whether you want to treat them or not. Because uh, not all risks are equal and basically you will have to focus on the most important ones. And then once you define what are the most important ones, then you have to find out various uh, safeguards or controls from Annex A to actually deal with these uh, risks. And then as a next step, you will have to define this uh, statement of applicability. This is basically a document which lists uh, all the controls uh, from the Annex A. And there you will define which of these controls are applicable and which are not applicable for your company uh, based on this uh, risk assessment and treatment, but also based on the expectations and requirements uh, from uh, interested parties. And then afterwards, you would have to define this risk uh, treatment plan uh, where you actually define who will be responsible for the implementation of these controls, uh, with uh, which resources, how the things will be evaluated, uh, these kind of things. Also, as part of this uh, subclause uh, 6.1, you will have to perform the AI system impact assessment. And basically, this is a, a different type of assessment from a risk assessment because risk assessment focuses on, uh, let's say, risks that could happen in the future, whereas uh, this uh, AI system impact uh, assessment uh, will focus on the things that will certainly happen uh, as a consequence of, uh, let's say, regular use or misuse of AI systems. And then in this uh, uh, AI system impact assessment, you focus primarily on the impacts for the individuals that are using AI systems uh, for societies. So basically, you don't really focus here uh, on the risks uh, for the company itself.